<clears throat> All right, I don't remember where we left off, but once we start, I sh uh, were we on an investigation? I thought we had just started a uh, trial. Let me load state. I think it's this one. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember what we were doing. Oh, that's right, we were doing her Magatama stuff. And we failed. I really like the music here. Okay, um... So... Now that we have this... Maybe we can take it somewhere. Let's go to... Oh man. talks us about anything. You remember this game? Yeah. It's a great game. <laughs> you were just playing it? Yay! They're great games. I like them all. I think I've played all of them but the last one, really. The newest one. Uh, okay. Mmm! Surely I can show that to somebody and get some information. I'm pretty sure that I've only gotten two new items that I have not shown everybody. So. <clears throat> this one's my least favorite of all of them because I have to show everyone everything or else nothing happens. Uh, Oh, this supposed to look like a sparkling Mario star. Oh, that would look so cool. Let's try this. Um, would you mind taking a look? Uh, he's not gonna tell us anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't wanna tell us anything. Click on this. Uh, got back the laptop and it's cleaned out. Yay! No more hacker. That's always good. <laughs> um, let's see if we can do hers again. I, I think we uh got some new items since the last time we tried it. Let's see, present. Take that! Take that! Damn! Head bandage. Said so the bandage around your head was from an operation. You also said <clears throat> you suffered a fatal injury to the head, correct? Yes. The operation was very difficult, apparently. Now, by fatal injury, you mean you were hurt very badly somehow, right? Hee 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 hee. Did the injury in, quest 
in question have something to do with this? Uh, I think it was this. Uh, let me go ahead and save it. Save state. I cheat. I know. Yeah, it was that. I have your car repair bill. From this, it seems pretty obvious that this car was involved in an accident. Let me see that. This bill is made out to the Cadaverinis? Oh, that's right. I had to prove that she's a Cadaverini or something. Yes, it is. I don't think I ever introduced myself. Tell me, what do the cadaver Cadaverinis have to do with me? Something tells me she's not about to say hi and introduce herself. Alright then, your relationship with the Cadaverinis is very strong and this is why. I don't have a reason why. Let's stop. Um. Um. Maybe. Take that! <laughs> Take everything! Including my wallet, credit card. Anything but my badge! Not the badge. The badge is mine. Oops, I grabbed the wrong bottle. Um. Have I shown her? Whoa! We have her profile now. Uh, why would we need her profile? Alright, he doesn't know her. Does he know Tigre? No, he doesn't know Tigre. Does he know Lisa Basil? No. Ugh! I really hate this game. Uh, let's talk. Oops. Uh, let's see if she knows this lady. There's some coffee. No thanks. Okay. I think she already told us about. No, she won't tell us about herself. Okay. Can I ask you about the tiger? I mean, Mr. Tigre. Cookie? Uh, sure. How do you like my cookies? I bake them myself. This is like the fourth Phoenix Wright that I've played. Oh. <laughs> no, this is the third one, I think. I like this game. It's just the worst of all of them, in my opinion. I've had the hardest time with this one than any other Phoenix Wright game. Um, I don't think she opened up anything. But... Um, let's go find Gumshoe. Uh, but no, not. around in this game sucks. Uh, let's go to Trabian. Let's ask him about the blue haired chick. Whoops. I don't know why I push that arrow every time <laughs> to go to the kitchen. He's not gonna say anything. Does he have a Magatama? I don't think so. No, he doesn't. Alright, let's move to. Uh, detention center? Oh, uh, Maggie's not here. Go to criminal affairs. Ah! Uh. Alright. Go to. I don't think anything new happens here. It's just if we're stuck, she'll give us hints. But the hints are never <laughs> helpful, in my opinion. Um. Let's start showing this lady a bunch of profiles. I don't think we showed her profiles. I must be able to do her Magatama, I just don't know. Would 
you mind taking a look at this? Sorry. Sparta. Why does this always have to take so long? Oh yeah, that's what we had to do. And we already talked about Glenn Elg. I'm gonna watch you play. That's alright, Ellie. Uh, I think Ellie Zia. That's fine. <laughs> I don't mind. There's really not much to really comment about this game. <laughs> Great Wi-Fi. badge. <laughs> Alright, let's try this one more time. I must have the stuff because there's nothing new. How about you tell me what kind of trouble Mr. Elg was in? Sorry sir, but we don't deal with troubleshooting here. Perhaps you'd like to speak to someone in customer service. What's she talking about? I guess I'd better just take a shot and see where it gets me. You had it right with my badge. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the bad! Ms. Basil, let me ask you something. Did Mr. Elk's troubles have something to do with this? Uh, Take that. Yeah, okay. Uh, what is that? A bunch of horse racing tickets. All losing ones. With that many tickets, you could get one dollar at the recycling center. You good people are very, very bad. <laughs> Catching in on others' misfortunes is immoral. Why did I get a whiff of hypocrisy just now? But what is the relevance of these tickets? The victim, Mr. Glenn Elg, he had a gambling habit, didn't he? I don't think that's a logical conclusion based on the facts. Everyone likes to go to the races from time to time. Yeah, but not everyone buys this many tickets. Anyway, I don't believe that proves anything on its own. <laughs> the badge is key. You're right, but I'm not through yet. I don't even know this game, but I know it's RPG by the Actually, no, it is not an RPG, but... <laughs> uh, it's a... Um, I guess like a interactive... I don't know. It's not an RPG. I don't know what you would call it, though. Point and click adventure, maybe? I don't know. It's not as intuitive. I don't know. Japanese adventure. <laughs> uh, Mr. Eld's gambling wasn't restricted to horse races, was it? Is this the ticket? No, that's the flyer. Uh, where's the? Is this the ticket? <clears throat> the lottery horse racing. He bought a lot of tickets and lost a lot of times. That's got to have hurt his wallet pretty bad, don't you think? Maybe bad enough to be the cause of some pretty serious trouble, perhaps? Criminal solving puzzle Japanese type of game. <laughs> yeah. No! You're right. Glenn did have a gambling habit. You good people must not follow his example, do you understand? Trust me, even if I wanted to, I don't exactly have the money to buy any. But if you win, there's no problem, is there? And Glenn had a winning ticket, didn't he? For half a million dollars? Yeah, but... It's hard to imagine how he could have been in trouble then, isn't it? Let's see, it's true that Mr. Elg won half a million dollars. In the end. But that was his first stroke of good luck. He was in deep trouble with that. Deep trouble? What do you mean? Mr. Elg's real problem was with someone or something more terrifying and ferocious. Which I think is this guy. We're gonna save it. Alright, Furio Tigre, the boss of a loan office called Tenderlender. Tenderlender? People with businesses should think of- should think harder before naming their offices. Like you're one to talk. Well, what do you think? Our firm is doing very well at the moment. I don't think we need to borrow money. No, 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 no. I mean about Mr. Elg. You think Glenn had something to do with this Furio Tigre? Yes. 
I'm sorry, I don't know of any connection between the two of them. Really? Because I've got proof that Mr. Elg and the, the Tigre knew each other. Which is this one? <clears throat> Furio Tigre, aka the Tiger, is the boss of a loan office called Tenderlander. This is who Mr. Elg met with on the day of his murder. And the only thing a loan shark would talk with him about would be his debt. No! It's true that Glenn had racked up quite a bit of debt. Oh, crap. That's right. I needed the program. Okay, sorry. We'll get there. You'll see. It's true that Glenn had racked up quite a bit of debt from his gambling habit. About $100,000, I think. $100,000? Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Creamy Diana, for the follow. I appreciate it. Let's see, uh, $100,000? Ouch. But I heard he won the lottery, so he should have been in the clear. Shame Maggie couldn't get a bit of that good luck. Okay, so the guy got lucky and won the lottery. But what if he hadn't won? What was his plan then? Well, this isn't easy to say, but he said he would use his talents to repay the money. His talents? It feels good. <laughs> <laughs> you never get tired of hearing that Amiga voice. It's Amiga Blue. I suspect he was talking about programming. Whoa, 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 whoa. What computer program is worth $100,000? Perhaps you good people should leave so I can get back to my work. I'm so close to cracking her. The program in question? Was it by any chance? This? Okay, uh... say it's this, but I don't know for sure. I, I, I tried giving that to her before and that wasn't the right item. Um, let's try this. Let me look at it. Let me see bomber. Damn it. It's a very delicate matter. Alright, let's load. most thrilling 10 minutes of your life every Monday. <laughs> what? job listings. Oh my god. Uh, I don't think we've got it. You're silent because it's so interesting? <laughs> That's okay. Uh, it's not really a big deal if people don't talk that much. Shot's just a loud mouth. <laughs> uh, I actually don't really have too much to say about it. That's why I don't really talk very much, but uh... Alright, we're gonna stop, and... Uh, there's gotta be something I'm missing. Uh... She's still sweating! <laughs> uh, is there anything else I can talk to her about? No. Um... Emote neon neutral. Oh, you have to uh, capitalize the N, and to see them, you need um, Franker face Z or something, something like that. All right, time to show evidence to every goddamn person again. Maybe there's something I'm missing here. Must be the table where the murder occurred. 
I guess so, with all this police tape all around it. And that stain must be from the poisoned coffee. Don't go licking the tablecloth, okay, Maya? I've banned you ten times. I have not banned you at all. <laughs> Only verbally. <laughs> why would I lick it? I'm not a cat, you know. Then why can I picture you doing just that? <laughs> Did I show? I think I did. Maybe there's something new here. Now I know I'm in a French restaurant. I've never heard most of these seasonings. Hey Nick, this container has oyster sauce? What's that? Isn't that used in Chinese food? hearing laughs coming from me. <laughs> Sorry! I'd like to see... I've always wanted to make a compilation of my laugh, just like... I don't know. <laughs> a 30 minute video of just like all of my laughs in one video. <laughs> Maybe someday. Or like, to hear my laugh and then I laugh hearing my laugh, and then I re- like, having recorded both of my laughs, do it again and again until there's like, ten laughs going on <laughs> simultaneously. Midget pickle with <laughs> straps! Midget- midget pickles, sweet midgets from Stratville. I don't see anything new here. Now this is one large mirror. I bet this is where he makes himself look pretty. There's a book on the dresser. Clarice Armstrong's bedtime literature. <laughs> Not exactly Pulitzer Prize material, is it? A collection of poems! Oh, I'm not reading these poems. No, I am not reading these poems. Print temps? Did we. Yeah, I'm not reading this. <laughs> I think I read it already. That's it? Yep. That's a poem for you! Um... I don't know if I ever showed the disc to everybody. Oh man, I hate this guy. <laughs> I don't want to talk like him. this vehicle here. Can I look at it? Hey, check this out. I wouldn't get too close to that if I were you. Otherwise, you might be in for a shock. My phony must be lurking around nearby. Just imagine a tiger on the loose in the city. Meanwhile, the real phoenix is like an abandoned chick. Just like a, in a vast urban jungle. Huh? Don't worry. Someday you'll grow up and become a ferocious tiger, too. Don't lose hope. Why is she trying to pep talk me into becoming a my phony? Uh... See anything worth clicking on here? This place is so fruity. 
It's not a bad thing. Besides, I love apples. They're not my favorite. And that apple slide is perfect for you. <laughs> and what is so perfect about it? Oh, come on. Don't be a stick in the mud. Slide down a few times. Go on. Woo! No way! <laughs> I get covered in sand if I slide down that slide. Anyone can see that. Yeah, otherwise I'd give it a try too. Oh, you're weird, Maya. Go sit on that banana. <laughs> Do it! Uh, there's gotta be something here that I've missed. Lids open. I wonder, have you finished the coffee? Oh, yes, thanks. It was lovely. So, you drank it all? <laughs> Gulp. Oh my god. And that coffee was laced with something, I'm sure of it. Let's go back to the damn office and see what Maya says to do. I bet she's not gonna have anything new to say. I haven't a clue what I'm supposed to do. I don't have enough information for either of the... Whoops! Ugh. For either of the, uh, locks. Psych- Cyclops. Maya. What to do? Well, I'm officially at a loss as to where to start. Oh, that's me talking. Yeah, me too. Let's try some brainstorming. You go first. I guess we should try to put Mr. Kudo's testimony to some sort of use. Yeah, that's true. And we need to figure out the identity of the waitress and who the victim really was. Somehow I think the key to this case has got to be at Trabian. Well then, let's go back there and check it out again. Oh, and we should drop in on Maggie and see how she's doing too. Well, Maggie is not there. Anything on your mind? Actually, there's something. I was wondering about Zen Eope. You know, like, what's he like and stuff? Oh, yeah. I almost forgot about that guy. Ugh. Oh, please. I gotta beat you so hard, it'll feel like you were smooching the express train! Phoenix Wright! You saying you, Phoenix Wright? Cause I'm Phoenix Wright! The one and only! Mad, happy, excellent logic to get happy quickly. <laughs> what? <laughs> Actually, I've learned a little something about my doppelganger. Huh? You did? What did you find out? Oh yeah. Maya was working at the restaurant when I ran into Don Fonione. What? Uh, let's just say he was such a terrible version of me that I wanted to sue for defamation. <clears throat> What's that guy's story anyway? What does he have to gain by impersonating me? Well, he certainly won't get any money that way. <laughs> One second. <clears throat> so what do we um let's look at the items we've got. Dun 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 dun. Rook of Ace in my seat. Sorry. Okay, let's ask uh I don't think anything's gonna happen, but let's ask uh, Armstrong about the uh Face, although I think we've talked to him about it already. Um, I'm trade in. See, ah, it is true. My vases are broken all the time. I bought a new one the next day after the incident, but they wouldn't let me put it on the table because of the investigation. Is that it? Ah. 
Uh, wait. Let's ask him. I think I've done this already, but. Let's see. A woman just now to know under. Uh. <clears throat> you like my friend. My stupid French accent that I can't even do because I don't know French? <laughs> Um, about this... <sighs> There's just nothing! What am I supposed to do? <laughs> uh... I don't have the program, do I? Uh, I may just move to ReCore if I can't figure out what to do in the next five minutes. I've been playing for 30 minutes and I've not figured out what to do. <laughs> I will just like look it up, but I don't want to do that on stream. Uh, let's look around here. Maybe there's something here I missed. Whoa, look at this desk. What a mess. It's average to me. Look right at this computer. That's all the tickets. Do you have a phone or anything? Look it up there. It's normal to. Uh, I do have a phone, but I just don't want to look it up while I'm streaming, is all. I mean, I could look it up. There's nothing stopping me. Uh, you wouldn't see my computer or anything if I did it. You love the music? Sounds much like Animal Crossing, yeah. I like the music in this game, too. And I like the music in Animal Crossing, as well. Comment on that shit under his desk? It looks like he's been sleeping in the office. Ugh, there's nothing. I don't think there's anything else I can show her. The problem with showing her everything is that this. Pause is so long and I can't skip it. Let's ask about his disc. No, it's just not anything about it. so long to skip all of this. Uh, what about this? I think there's a fast forward button, but I don't know what the, uh, <laughs> I don't know what the hot key for it is. So I guess Glenn Elg is all she'll talk about. What about his ear medicine? about the matchbook. Uh, I don't want to talk to you. I probably do want to talk to him, but 
I'm scared. He throws stuff at me. Okay, I want to show her this. She just doesn't know anything. Or she doesn't want to tell us anything. Um let me show her did I show her the disc? I think I did. <clears throat> I don't think we can really examine things. with something. Uh, I guess I'll look it up. A new window. for turnabout part three investigation ask him what he was listening to he answers the cyclops let's see maggie isn't here move to trivian you'll find gumshoe who's listening to the radio we've already seen that one's troubles you lisa will Guess it throw in to move to the kitchen. You'll see Armstrong talking with the creepy girl. Present his loan contract. They keep harassing him and just now to go under. Missing a chat option here. Oh. We're supposed to suck it up and he'll keep talking. I totally forgot about this because I remember wanting to <laughs> come back and do this again. Objection! Alright, we're going to suck it up. Guess I better let him talk. So there's not much call for craftsmen these days, huh? Of course not, you idiot! All I'm good for nowadays is running errands. Errands? Everyone takes advantage of the elderly. Buy some bread, Gramps. Take the dog for a walk, Granddad. Feed the pigeons, old man. What am I, some sort of two-bit community handyman? Um, well? Buy some bread! Uh, now that I can understand. But what's the point of feeding some seedy pigeons? Why don't people say what they mean? Get lost! 
That's what they're trying to say. Oh, yes. I'm just an inconvenience, you see. At home, at that restaurant, I just get in the way, don't I? I'm sure you don't. Wait a minute. What did he just say? At home and at that restaurant? Hold up. By restaurant? Are you talking about Travian? Buy some bread. Pop that zit. Ooh! <laughs> did you get asked to run an errand there too? Yes, I did. The very day that young brat was poisoned. Whoa, 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 what? Alright, the errand. So on the day of the incident, what are you asked what were you asked to do? Glad you asked, boy, because I'll I'll tell you what I was asked to do. All of a sudden that young lad slumped over the table. The serving girl collapsed. And I broke that vase. It all happened so fast I was in a bit of a daze, you see. Then the owner shouted over to me. Excuse moi you call the police. Call them yourself! I should have said back, but I didn't think of it at the time. <laughs> so, did you end up calling the police? Like I said, I was in a bit of a daze. Did you call them on your cell phone? Ka! Do I look like I'd have one of those newfangled thingamajigs? I went out looking for a payphone, of course. You went looking for one? I couldn't find one right away, you know. Wandered around for five minutes or so. His nose looks like a cherry on top of a milkshake. <laughs> Ew! I'll never look at cherries the same. Five minutes? F -f 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 five minutes? So for five minutes after the incident happened, yes siree, the owner was at Trebian on his own. Why didn't you mention this in court this morning? Well, I would have if you'd given me the chance. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sounds like a DJ. <laughs> Don't know what's that, what that's called. I don't know what it's called either. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'll never be able to eat another McDonald's shake again. Let's see. Uh, but you all bullied me out of the courtroom. Uh, thank you, Mr. Kudo. You certainly earned your kudos for today. Wait, wait a minute. If that's the case, there's more. I've got to say. I've got more to say. Oh yes, I remembered something else. Bailiff. Escort the witness out of the courtroom. It's not my fault. You're the ones to blame. You could have at least told us before we got to court. Is it really that important, Mr. Kudo? Was the one who called the police? What's important is the unaccounted time before the police arrived. The victim was dead. And Maggie was unconscious. Which leaves that woman... I mean, that man... <laughs> <laughs> Alone in the restaurant. She could have might have been chased out of the out of the place on purpose. What do you mean? Maybe a certain someone didn't want him in the restaurant. Ah! Oh sure, you go ahead and say I was in the way as usual. I suppose I should have been getting myself covered in pigeon poop instead. Hmm. We need to get more details about what exactly happened. Did you assume my gender? He assumed. <laughs> Triggered! For Maggie and for Mr. Armstrong. <coughs> I hope you're talking to Phoenix Wright because I don't believe I referred to anyone as a he or she, did I? I don't think I did. <laughs> uh, Alright, looks like we've got some talk to Armstrong about what we just learned. Uh, January 7th, Trivia and Kitchen. Looks like Mr. Armstrong's out again. But the place is open for business. You can't have an open restaurant without a chef. Hey, it's not my fault, Nick. Don't take it out on me. Only a couple of minutes after the incident happened, Mr. Kudo left the scene, leaving Mr. Armstrong here alone. Roblox death sound. Arg. Missing when we need to talk to him the most. Maybe he's trying to avoid us on purpose. Let's see. Alright. 
guys tell me to go to the detention center. Oh, is Maggie back? January 7th, detention center visitor's room. <gasps> oh, Mr. Wright! Uh, hello, Maggie. So they finished questioning you? <gasps> Wasn't it just unbelievable in court today, sir? I'm going to stay up all night and blog about everything that happened. Weren't you scared? It was pretty touch and go in there. Yeah, but you totally nailed that old man. <laughs> That's kind of some unfortunate wording there. Well, he was all over the place with his testimony. He's not the only one. Huh? What do you mean? Everyone else's testimonies don't match up either. Not with what I remember of the incident, anyway. Is it possible she is the one misremembering things? Okay, contradictions. Maggie. You know how you said to everyone else... <laughs> we nailed them good with them sweet midgets! Provided testimony that didn't match up with what you remembered? Yep. There are just so many things that don't seem to add up. The biggest contradiction is the other guy I saw at the victim's table. He was the one who slipped something into the victim's coffee. I'm sure it was him. But didn't Mr. Kudo testify earlier today? That it was the waitress who put some white powder into the coffee cup? So you really think it was this disappearing man that did it? Well, he's not the only thing that disappeared. The CD vanished as well. You know, the CD with the writing on it. Oh yeah, the MC Screwdriver album, right? <laughs> it was MC Bomber Maya. That name was scrawled on the sports paper as well. You never did find that CD at the crime scene, sir. Or the victim's medication. That's gone missing too. Ouch. My head. This is getting way too complicated for me. After the incident? You said that you passed out when the victim, Glenn Elg, collapsed, right? Yes. It's so embarrassing. I mean, I used to be a cop. <clears throat> when I came to, the restaurant was buzzing with police. But before I knew what was going on, they arrested me, sir. So between the time the victim collapsed and the time the police arrived on the scene... You have no idea what went on at Trebian. No, no idea at all. Why, is it important, Mr. Wright? The other witness, the old man from the park, was pretty much chased out of the picture. Chased out of the picture? What do you mean? Old Seedy wasn't inside the restaurant because he was told to go get the police. Exactly. And you, Maggie, were unconscious. That means Mr. Armstrong was alone in the restaurant for a brief period of time. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't think Mr. Armstrong set me up, do you? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the why is the hardest one to do. <laughs> when you consider the facts, it's hard to imagine that Mr. Armstrong isn't involved in this at all. Grr. It's like the master biting the paw of the dog that it feeds. Are you sure about this, Mr. Wright? Well, the old man said as much when we spoke with him earlier. I don't know. The things that man says don't add up for some reason, sir. Maggie looks like she's trying to figure something out. We'd better find out exactly what happened to the old man on that day. <laughs> Bass boosted. Yeah, 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 yeah. We better find out exactly. Okay. All right. Let's show her some kerjiggers. I want you to see. I guess this. I know I used to be in the police force, but I'm incarcerated now. I don't pick up much information in here. All I can help you with now is the menu at Travian. Don't let your spirits fall. Alright, luckily this is a short... So it doesn't matter if we show her all this crap. Ah, is that your attorney's badge? <laughs> Actually, it's a fake! Holy smokes! That's it! Huh? That's the badge your phone he had, Mr. Wright! You got duped by this? <laughs> but it's com a completely different color! But what about the fact that it's made of paper? <laughs> he said the badge got a tan as well, while he was in Hawaii on business. I'm beginning to see how my phony was able to gain her trust. 
<laughs> what? You don't recognize this CD? Ugh. Oh yeah, we gotta give her the weenies. I got a box of weenies! Oh yeah, I've got something you're going to love! <gasps> really? What is it? A lunchbox, just for you! Here! Wow, a lunchbox? Weenies, too! I can't believe it! Thank you, sir! Did you make this just for me, Mr. Wright? Nah, it was Detective Gumshoe! Who else would make such a nice lunchbox for you? Detective Gumshoe? He's really worried about you. Looks like he put a lot of effort into making this, too. He just dumped a can of Vienna sausages. I can't accept it. Detention center rules. No gifts allowed, sir. Hey, come on, Maggie. Don't be like that. The rules are the rules! They'll lock you up if you break them! Somehow when an ex-cop turned waitress says that, it seems a whole lot scarier. And anyway... I hate weenies! What? Say what? What, 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 what? How do you hate weenies? Midget weenies, in fact. <laughs> they were those little weenies. <laughs> oh, really? It's all yours, Maya. You can enjoy it with <laughs> Mr. Wright and Maya can eat these midget weenies all themselves. But, 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 but. She's right. It's better than letting it go to waste. <laughs> but! I guess so. <laughs> Come to lunchbox, eaten with Maya. They just ate it in front of her? Well, how was it? That hit the spot. I love weenies! <laughs> Miguito weenie. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm getting that tattooed to my ass. Miguito weenie. <laughs> We've officially descended into the 10th level of hell in the chat room. <laughs> Maggie Loweenies? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh good, I'm glad I gave it to you then, sir. <laughs> Uh, let's ask her about this. Oh, yeah. That's from when I was carrying a customer's breakfast over to them. The ketchup splotchy meme. My whole face was fire engine red thanks to that stuff. <clears throat> but you spilled the kitchen. But you spilled the ketchup on your apron, didn't you? I don't see how. The ketchup covered omelet went flying and hit the customer in the face? Oh, talk about a tomato red face. Makes me wish I could have seen it myself. <laughs> yeah, I guess. It was kind of a sight to behold. Um, let's see. Potassium cyanide? I've never heard of that poison before in my life! Never? <laughs> okay, maybe I have. Okay, sh I knew it. But I've never seen it before. That's the truth! I wouldn't even know where the nearest potassium cyanide dealer in is in the first place. Potassium cyanide dealers? Sounds like another group of drug pushers to avoid. In any case, this definitely isn't something you can pick up just anywhere. Ooh! Curse my rotten luck! The criminal must have snuck the bottle in my apron while I was unconscious. Let's see, that's the cup I took over to the table, sir. But I didn't put anything in it. I just... I can never do something like that. That's right! You can never do anything like that. I'm not good at carrying those large trays, you know. Trying to balance a tray with one hand and to put something in the coffee with the other? It'd just be asking for trouble. I'd drop something for sure! Th -th 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 that's right! <laughs> oh gosh. I I I is she expecting me to, ex to claim that she's too clumsy to have committed the crime? When they... Say, but, why does the screen have to shake? <laughs> They're just saying, but! It's just whenever they put the... Like, the letter and then write the word after it, I'm like, buh, 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 buh. Like, they're stuttering, I don't know. 
<laughs> they had trouble saying that word. I better make it sound like it. <clears throat> Let's see. What else is there to show her? Did we show her this? Waiting for season three and Rick and Morty. Oh, yay! I've actually never watched that show. My son watches it. <clears throat> Japanese Drama Court. I think we showed this already. Okay, we already showed that. Oh, that's right, the lunch is gone. That's why these items are over here. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if we unlocked any chat options. Uh, nope. Now let's show her some profiles. We gotta show everyone everything! Cons, blah 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 blah. <clears throat> Holy smokes! That's him! Huh? That's your phony, Mr. Wright. Just look at that ridiculous suntan. Um, for the record, I'm not sunburned like an overdried tomato, so I don't know how. <laughs> he told me he'd been on a business trip to Hawaii, and that's where he got the tan. I'm not hearing this. She doesn't know who that is. Uh, did that unlock any chat? Nope. Okay, so this essentially did nothing. Um, let's see if Gumshoe's back. Nope. Okay, the guide says to show her Mr. Kudo. <clears throat> I feel much better after the trial this morning. I've been a bit of a courtroom proceedings addict for years now. It feels like forever since I saw a witness as slippery as that old man. He's not really that bad of an old man, though. Still, I feel a bit uneasy. Huh? I thought you just said you felt much better. Maggie? If there's something on your mind, you've got to tell us. Especially if it has anything to do with Mr. Kudo or his testimony. Roger! I'll spill it all and see what you make of it. Okay. <clears throat> Victor's testimony. Is there anything about Mr. Kudo's testimony that stood out as odd to you? Actually, yes. The fact that he was even testifying to begin with doesn't quite... Doesn't quite what? Well, when I took the coffee over to the victim's table, it's true there was another customer in the restaurant. Yeah, we know that already. It was Victor Kudo. But I can't really say it was an old man. Okay, then how about calling him a really old middle-aged man? No, age isn't the issue. The other customer was a woman. A woman? Are you sure, Maggie? Well, I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. So, what did this woman look like? Um, she was sort of creepy. And she had a kind of cackling laugh. Creepy? Cackling? Why do I get the feeling I've come across a woman like that recently? Um, can I show her the portrait now? Wednesday. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. <laughs> I clicked out of the window and tried to edit this walkthrough I had open. Let me get rid of it. There we go. <clears throat> Move. Violetta. 
That's that emo coffee girl. She slipped them sweet midget weenies into my coffee. Uh, I think we go this way. Yeah. January 7th, Police Station, Criminal Affairs Department. The main server just went up in smoke! Why the heck isn't the press conference set up yet? The superintendent's here already. Yeah, and there's a problem with the internet, too. I already told you to stop using your computer, Chief. But I'm watching videos online. I'm catching up on my Asian soap operas. It's gonna have to wait, Chief. I'm throwing the switch. No! Just when Zoom Yoon guy was about to confess to his son's hot to trot girlfriend. <laughs> what? Wow, this place is really buzzing. Something must be going down. Something really big. Yeah, Zoom some something was about to <laughs> confess something to his super hot girlfriend. Huh? What are you doing here, pal? How many weenies do you take in your coffee? <laughs> oh, I take a bunch. Take the gumshoe! You can't be here right now. You'll be roped into the briefing if you stay. Huh? We've got a big problem here today. <clears throat> Why? <laughs> What's going on? It's a virus! A virus! A virus? There's a virus ripping through the precinct's computer system. But I really need to ask you some questions. Tinderlinder. Okay, I'm only gonna say this once, so listen up. Yeah, 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 yes. No matter how poor you get, never borrow money from a place like this, you hear? Um, okay. If you got money trouble, just go on a diet of instant noodles and hang in there. Uh, we're not thinking about borrowing money, detective. We want information. Hey, Mr. K, how are you doing? Nice to see you again. Uh, let's see. We want information. Oh, is that all? Well, let's see. Tenderlinder is considered to be even fishier than the average illegal loan shark. And it seems it ran into trouble just recently. Those guys have been pretty heavy-handed, uh, heavy calling in all their debts. Really? Don't go poking your nose around in their business, pal. You'll really regret it if you upset that lady. Alright, I get the picture. Hey, wait a minute. What did he just say? That lady? Who's this lady he's talking about? Nick! We better find out uh, what the story is with this lady. So your wife called yesterday. Your kitty's vomiting blood. Can we put down? Oh no. He had stomach cancer. Oh. I'm really sorry to hear that. This is sad. That's doo doo trash. Computer viruses. <clears throat> so, what exactly is a computer virus, Detective Gumshoe? I don't know. <laughs> what? Look, I just go with the flow, alright, pal? In here, I thought detectives were supposed to be somewhat knowledgeable. What's with that face, pal? Do you think you know what a virus is? Well, Nick, do you? A computer virus? Sure. I mean, only in simple terms, of course. Really? Wow. You sure know everything, Professor Nick. Yeah, I'm gonna call you Dr. Wright from now on. Hey, that sounds pretty cool. Don't you agree, Dr. Wright? Why do I get the feeling they're making fun of me? Okay, fine. I'm no expert, but I can at least explain the basics to the two of you. <clears throat> What's a virus? A virus is a program that gets inside a computer and causes damage. Damage? You mean it makes the machine go boom and explode? No, the damage is, uh, well, it's all internal. So the inside goes boom, right? <laughs> Imagine all the case data uh, you've got stored on your PCs here in the station. A virus could wipe out all of that. That's, kind of, that's the kind of damage I'm talking about. Oh, that's scary. Yeah, and what's even more scary is that viruses are infectious. Infectious? Most computers are connected together on a network, right? <clears throat> a virus can move from one machine to another over the network. So the virus just keeps spreading faster and faster. Hmm. Just like a real virus, huh? But Nick! 
Why would anyone want to make a program like that? Yeah, it takes ages to type in all that data. Why would you want to destroy it, pal? No, people don't infect their own machines. They send the virus to someone else's. What? That's horrible. <clears throat> oh, I get it. It's like he's sneezing on Godot, so he catches a cold. Right! Then he wouldn't be able to turn up in court because he'd be too sick. You really shouldn't do stuff like that, Nick. It's wrong. <laughs> Who, what, where, when, and why did the conversation jump to talking about me? Anyway, that's what a computer virus is. A bad program that causes damage. And all that differs, and all the different viruses have names, right? I kind of feel like I've heard the name of the virus we caught somewhere before. <clears throat> the name of the virus, huh? I feel like I've heard of it before, too. Uh, well, could you guys tell me so I know what it is? Although I think I know what it is. Is it... Oh, where is it? Oh, this? <clears throat> this? What? I'm trying to concentrate on Maggie and the virus right now. So I... Ah! This is it! This stupid name! I remember now! I thought so. Here it comes. Don't just nod to yourself and keep me in the dark. Nick, what's going on? It's okay, Maya. You don't have to cry about it. The name scribbled on that sports paper and written on that CD. That's the name of the virus. MC Bomber! What? Yeah, the virus just infected every computer in the station, pal. It's MC Bomber. Can you give us any more details? <gasps> Please? No. Go home. Goodbye. Die. MC Bomber. We already knew about the MC Bomber virus from a while back. A group of criminals issued a series of demands to the head honchos of law enf enforcement. They threatened to release the virus if their demands weren't met. <clears throat> Stygian's snizzles? What? <laughs> the perfect computer virus? No. Uh, virus name, I mean. Who are they? I don't know. Some hotshots from the criminal underworld would be my guess. And now the virus has been released, huh? Yeah, it's in every computer in every public office. Uh, in the city. Everyone's going nuts! They're hopping around like they're dancing at a carnival! All this stuff with criminals and viruses. It almost feels like we're in a sci-fi movie. Apparently the programmer who made the virus was a real genius or something. The focus right now is on the tracing is on tracing the route of this virus on the black market. You mean someone put this virus up for sale? Yeah, and because this one's so powerful, they're estimating its price tag was in the millions of dollars, pal. In the millions, a virus can be worth that much? To res resemble of what you said. No, go home. Don't come back. Go home! Pick that up! Don't touch it! Okay. Alright, now we've got... I think... What we need for... What's her face's... Uh, Kerjigger. Let's go ahead and try it. Nobody's here, okay. <clears throat> uh, still nobody here, okay. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> now let's try it. Alright, time to go through all of this again, but I'm not going to read it this time. Take that! 
<clears throat> Take that! Uh, this is to prove their connection? Yeah. <clears throat> Almost there. <laughs> no! Now we can show her the damn CD. I hope. It's so dumb that I couldn't show it to her until now. This. That. Yeah, that's it. Well, this is it, isn't it? This is the virus that's infecting computers worldwide as we sp as we speak. NC bomber. No! Oh, we did it! Yay! No, they're all gonna laugh at you. Unlock successful. Ooh, we got our health back. Or whatever that is. Glenn's troubles. Glenn's head had more processing power than any computer. But it had been infected with a gambling virus. <laughs> Glenn was in too deep. You mean he was in debt? Uh, yay! <laughs> I like that little emote because it actually looks like me, only I wear glasses. And purple's my favorite color, and I don't really carry a wrench around. Yes, $100,000 in debt. Not an easy amount to repay. So, he said he was taking on some extra work. Something a bit risky. Risky? How? Maybe he was going to become a waitress at Trabian. Where do you come up with these ideas? <laughs> risky extra work. So it's safe to say Mr. Elg was the creator of this virus, huh? MC Bomber virus? Yes. It was a work of genius. In a bad sort of way, of course, but still genius. Something like that would probably fetch several million dollars on the black market. Inconceivable! Gumshu was right for a change. The Stygian one is better, or the White Mage one is better. We have the proper program to display it. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I think that one's one of my favorites. I like the Neon Neutral one, too. Let's see, this data, December 3rd, that is marked on this calendar. Marked in his calendar. That was his deadline for repaying his debts. <clears throat> Alright, it's updated. I guess we won't be needing these horse racing tickets anymore. As much as you miss your wife, you love being able to go to the store and buy peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> Do you go like every day for peanut butter? I imagine you go into to the store every day to pick up five tubs of peanut butter and still having to come back the next day. Glenn Elg's losing horse race tickets thrown back on the floor. They threw him on the floor? Use the trash can, Nick! <laughs> okay, uh. Buy enough to get through a week. <laughs> I mean, in terms of a yay kind of emote, like, it's, it's also your favorite as well. Okay. Sister and... Oh, you went to LA? Did you have fun? I've never been to LA. I don't really ever want to, but... I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. <clears throat> Let's go to the kitchen real quick. Nothing. <clears throat> Let's walk around and see if anything's changed. Nothing here. <clears throat> you had a job interview? You're not thrilled about the prospect of living there. The job and money are good. To Disney and oh, cool. Well, good luck on the job interview. You buy enough healthy bars to keep you healthy over your break. Over the break, you're very glad. And you went to Pennsylvania, that's cool. Healthy bars. <laughs> <clears throat> I eat little tuna cups, they're really good, they're yummy. 
<laughs> it's usually like an event if I even leave the house. <laughs> and it's not to a... Well, I go to a physical therapist every Tuesday and Thursday, but then I come straight home. Uh, where are we going? Detention center. Um, let's show her the disc. <clears throat> I don't know, every time, every once in a while we go to Austin, but not very often. <laughs> I don't like going places. I like staying home. I'm an introvert. I don't even really like people. I mean, I don't mind you guys, of course, but <clears throat> seeing people in person just makes me so nervous. <clears throat> like, sometimes it's a, a wonder why I even have a husband. Let's show him this disc. He also likes staying home. Yeah. My video games are all the social interaction I need. <laughs> uh, let's see. This. What do you think about this, Detective Gumshoes? Sorry, pal. I can't discuss anything connected to the case. I thought you said you were going to help us out. I can't help you out if I don't have any info. Ugh. Well, now we're stuck again. Okay, what do we do after this? <laughs> doesn't really like us either. It's just all sick experiment. Yes. I'm experimenting. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's the girl who works over at uh, Tinder Lender. You want to stay away from her, okay? I mean it. She does look kind of unforgiving, doesn't she? That should be the least of your worries, pal. What's that supposed to mean? What could be worse? Her name is Viola Cadaverini. She's the only granddaughter of Bruto Cadaverini. <clears throat> Bruto Cadaverini. Do you know who that is, Nick? Ugh, he looks like he's had shots to the head. Never heard of him. Bruto Cadaverini is the boss <clears throat> of the Cadaverini family. The Cadaverinis? Can we stop saying Cadaverini? <laughs> That's one scary sounding name. We can't touch them. They're way too powerful for the police. But you're thinking of taking them on, aren't you? <clears throat> no, 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 no! I don't remember ever saying I was going to. I better get some more info out of dumps you about this family. <clears throat> Alright, this is the info we need for her Cyclops. Cadaver weenies. <laughs> Let's see, uh, I'm not sure if I really want to get involved in this, but who are the Cadaverinis? Who are they? A scary bunch of people, that's who. You're a cop, and you're scared? What's that about? <clears throat> Trust me, it doesn't matter if you're a kid or a cop. These guys are scary! They've got some serious clout in the criminal underworld. We can't touch them. They've got too much moolah. Moolah? <laughs> As in, they pretty much control all the cash on the city's black market. The black market, huh? And that includes Tinder Lender, I take it. Sure. No one stands up to Bruto Cadaverini. And I mean no one. Interesting. So Viola's the granddaughter of some mafia boss then. Yeah. And everyone knows how much Bruto loves his little girl. She means everything to him. So... How did she end up at Tinder Lender? I don't know, pal. But I heard she and the boss of the Tinder Lender are pretty tight. Tight? That's what it said in a file I read related to Maggie's case. Sounds like a pretty important clue. Arg! I can't believe it! I almost forgot the most important thing. And that is... You know, the lunchbox. 
how did everything go? La 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 lunchbox? You remember? The weenies? <laughs> the midget weenies that we all stuffed in our faces? <laughs> I hate weenies! Oh yeah, those weenies. <laughs> those delicious succulent weenies. Midget weenies. So, how did my weenies taste? <laughs> oh my god! Uh, well, it was delicious! <laughs> yeah, that's really what she said? Uh, well, not exactly. <laughs> Don't worry about it, pal. I figured something would happen. So I came prepared. <laughs> prepared? What do you mean? I made a jumbo <laughs> lunchbox. This one's got damn jumbo weenies. Oh, do me a favor again, huh, pal? And deliver this. It sure is a heavy burden in more ways than one. <laughs> he brought protection. So many dick jokes. Uh, I can just imagine Maggie's little eyes sparkling with joy when you bring her that. <laughs> Weenies. Again, Nick? Tell me we don't have to eat all these, too. <laughs> <clears throat> I really can't <laughs> eat anymore. Stygians always got room for weenies. Let's see. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think we can, uh... I, I don't think we actually give her the weenie. <laughs> oh, she's gone. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let's go to the, uh... Let's try and do this chick's, uh, Cyclops. This ain't the jokes, this is real life! <laughs> All those weenies! Alright, let's... Do we have... Okay, yeah. <clears throat> let's save it and do her Magatama crap. Weenies now. Now we gotta do all this again. The head bandage. Uh, is it? No, not that. Not that. Uh, is it this one? Yeah. <clears throat> Somebody slapped you with all these weenies. That's why you got a head bandage. <laughs> you had a concussion from these succulent little midget weenies. Exactly who you are, Viola Cadaverini. You sustained an injury in a traffic accident, didn't you? <clears throat> it happened about four months ago. I was driving in one of our family's cars. When someone pulled out in front of me, the weenies were turned into 50 cal bullets. <laughs> she got shot with them, and now her head is wrapped. a motorbike or something like that. I don't remember it much. Anyway, I sort of to try to avoid it, but... <clears throat> I took a blow to the head. A bad one. Damn you, midget weenies! Yeah, I can imagine. So what happened to the person on the bike? I'm guessing they didn't get away with injuring the Viola Cadaverini, right? I don't know what happened to them. They ran away, or so I heard. Ran away? If 
they'd stayed, I'd have... Hee 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 hee. Hmm, is it possible? Could the person who committed the hit and run have been... <clears throat> T-Ray! A bike! A bike! A bike! Let's save real quick. <laughs> it was this man, wasn't it? He was the cause of your accident. It wasn't Don Tigre. I refuse to believe it. We collided. The motorbike and my car. But Don Tigre isn't injured at all. Is he? It was the tiger who caused Viola to crash. I can feel it! Plus, one of her locks just broke, so she must suspect it was him, too. I'm sorry, Miss Cadaverini, but I have proof that the tiger was involved in a traffic accident on his bike. <laughs> These ladies! I guess it's this. Yeah. It's not exactly a motorbike, but Mr. Tigre rides around on a scooter, doesn't he? You got me home? Well, let me try and finish this psych lock and then we'll be done. And you'll notice the front wheel guard is badly damaged. Miss Cadaverini. You know the truth, don't you? He he he. This repair bill was paid by uh, Furio Tigre. The Cadaverinis have known for ages who caused the accident, haven't they? It's possible, perhaps. Somewhere inside me, I knew that may be true. I know that may be true. I knew it! But... Don Tigre still saved my life. The operation was very complicated. It was very, very expensive. How much are we talking? Very, very, very expensive. She seems kind of hesitant. Hesitant about giving me an actual figure. I should back off. Well, anyway. <clears throat> it was the tiger who paid for it, right? After I recovered, Don Tigre told me he said he paid for the operation because he cared about me. I believe him. Really? But do you honestly believe that to be true? Do you want to know what I think? I think the reason he paid for the operation wasn't because of you, but someone else. <clears throat> um... Is it this guy again? Let's save. I thought her head was wrapped because she was hiding Voldemort. Take that! Yes! Perhaps I shouldn't be saying this, but... Your grandfather, Bruto Cadaverini, controls a lot of dubious cash, right? And you are his beloved pride and joy. Sure, I don't know exactly how much the operation cost, but... If you weren't the granddaughter of Mr. Cadaverini, do you think Mr. Tigre would have paid the money? One million dollars. Yay, we did it! <clears throat> and we will save this portion for next time, which I guess is tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Wednesday? Yep. Uh, we will back be back tomorrow, then. <clears throat> uh... I don't know if my son will stream. Sometimes it's he does or sometimes he doesn't. Um, yeah, well, it'll either be him first, and then it'll be me with Phoenix Wright, and maybe Recore later. Doesn't it? I don't know. It depends. But anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching us play and build levels and whatever. You want him to stream? <laughs> well, I can tell him that, but we'll we'll see. Sometimes he does. Sometimes he doesn't. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, I hope you guys have a good evening, and I will see you guys next time. So take care, and have a good night.